as a raven's tail weaver, there's this beautiful guild, um, and they have these wonderful volumes. You can get um, past volumes and future ones, and it's just an amazing resource. Here's all the information of Kay Parker's uh, workbooks, um, information on a warp bank, but there's a lot of weavers here that share patterns and some of their knowledge and beautiful things that are happening within the weaving community. And one of my favorites is the pattern that Doug had done. And it's beautifully done and it shows like the colors and how many warps so this was the lattice pattern that we just did that was in one of the volumes and I asked him can we use your pattern he's like of course um, and then here is the beautiful lightning pattern that we're going to do and although this is available in the book it goes from 1 all the way to 28 and then from 28, you go backwards, you go 27, 26, da, 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 da. but he had put it together where it goes, it counts down. So we'll be doing this pattern twice. Um, one of the things that you could look at is the diagonal as it's turning and these triangles that you're weaving. And you know that here's some bars and then right about here, the diagonal goes into those bars. Here's some bars on this side. It goes black, white, black, white, and then black, white, black, and then we have this triangle. And again, these diagonals are coming within these bars. So those are things to watch out for as you're weaving. Um, you have these four warps of black, four warps of white, four warps of black, and so on. But underneath it, you notice that it breaks the previous four. So it goes four, 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 but up above it was four here, and you're, you're breaking, breaking that four with this white four and this black four. So if you go to one that is like maybe four white and then you go over four white again you'll be like oh what, what's going on with this pattern those are just some things that to watch out for um you'll notice it has like a brick stitch effect such a beautiful pattern thank you doug goodness cheesh So we put in the first two rows that are yellow. And then now we're ready for row three and four.